Now we're going to look at the air conditioning compressors. Uh, there's various types of them, but the most common types we're going to look at is for a central air conditioning system. Uh, the basic function of a compressor is to pump refrigerant from the condensing unit outside here to an evaporator uh, inside the house and uh, that uh, refrigerant then cools the air. All right. To gain access to the compressor, you start by making sure the power is off. Usually there's a disconnect mounted on the wall. You shut it off. Then it's a matter of opening access panels. It'll vary by the manufacturer of the unit, but usually there's a panel that must be taken off. And then there's usually a sometimes an electric uh, access panel. So you take it off. And the compressor is located inside the actual condensing unit. Uh, usually the way Usually the way to uh, g gain access to it is to take the top off of the air conditioner. Uh, on some models it's not necessary, uh, but in this case it is. And to do that, you start by, uh, by uh, disconnecting the wires for the condenser fan motor. And that is so that you can uh, pull the top off and get it out of the way. First step is to make sure that the power to the unit is off. With a simple bolt ohm meter, you just check the uh, the input wires on the contactor, and you should have zero volts. If you have uh, voltage, then your power is not shut off. Then there's usually three wires, sometimes four, going to the uh, condenser fan motor. There will be uh, Normally it's a, a brown one that goes to the run capacitor and then there's usually a black one and sometimes a purple one that uh, goes to the uh, contactor. And it's a simple matter of uh, disconnecting them from it. Now that we have the condenser fan motor wires disconnected, it's just a simple matter of removing the screws so that we can remove the top of the condensing unit. There's a lot more. I did a few there. And then the top basically can just be lifted off. And we'll set to the side for now. Once you get the top off of the air conditioner, you can see the compressor. Uh, that uh, orange thing there in the center is actually the compressor. Uh, like I said, there's uh, different kinds. Uh, your uh, least efficient and your typically in your older units is what's called a rotary or a reciprocating type compressor. And uh, uh, the next efficient type is a, compre is a scroll compressor. As you can see, this this is a scroll compressor. They're usually, you can tell them by their characteristic round dome shaped top. And they are uh, they're more efficient than your uh, reciprocating or rotary compressors. Uh, the most efficient type now is uh, the variable speed, variable frequency type compressors. They're sometimes called inverter types but uh, they are the most efficient. Uh, if you believe that you're having a problem with the, the compressor and you're troubleshooting and you narrow it down, then uh, the first place to start is to, like we did here, remove the top of the condensing unit and gain access to the compressor. And then you'll notice on the side there is a terminal box. If you take that cover off, you take that cover off the terminal box, there will be uh, three uh, wires and three connections. You just want to make sure that uh, those connections are not uh, damaged or burn off or something like that. If Now we'll continue with our electrical 
checks. If you think there's a problem, after you've checked the terminal connections on the compressor, then you want to do some resistance checks. Uh, once again, make sure the power is off. But uh, there will be three wires normally going to the compressor. One will go to run computer, and then two will typically go to the contactor. And what you want to do is you want to take a resistance reading between each of the uh, wires. And that uh, reading is usually less than 2 or around 2 ohms, sometimes uh, a little more, but it should be at any rate less than 10 ohms. Uh, the other check you want to do is check to see if the compressor motor itself is grounded. And to do that you just put one lead on the unit itself and then go from each one of the leads check. Your reading should be uh, off the scale, infinity. So I'll check that. If, uh, if one of those readings is bad it's an indication that there's something wrong with the compressor. Uh, if you do get a bad resistance reading you want to uh, feel the top of the compressor itself to see if it's hot. If it's actually hot, then uh, there's an internal thermostat that will open, and that can give you a false open reading. So make sure the compressor is cool before you take any resistance measurements. Uh, if all your electrical checks on the compressor are good, then uh, you have to uh, put refrigerant gauges on the, and check to see if the pump itself is actually working, the mechanical parts. And that's what we'll look at next. We continue our look at compressors now with uh, checking for mechanical failures and uh, we'll look at uh, attaching the gauges. That's a way to find out. Uh, basically to put gauges on an air conditioning unit, first you need to know what type of refrigerant you're dealing with. It could be R22, R410A, sometimes 407C but in this case it's R22 and uh, this is a set of gauges and it's called a gauge manifold sometimes but this tells you what the pressure of the refrigerant is in the system there's a low pressure gauge which is blue there's a high pressure gauge which is red and there's usually a yellow hose which is used for adding refrigerant to the system uh, the bigger line refrigerant line is your suction line to the compressor that's the line where the refrigerant comes from the inside the house back out to here, to this part. The small line is called the liquid line, and that is the line where the uh, compressor pumps the refrigerant through that line to the indoor unit. Uh, to put your gauges on, basically you take uh, caps off of some ports here. Inside these ports is a, it's called a Schrader valve. Typical. It's like the uh, like the air valve on a bicycle tire or car tire. Same principle. But to hook up the gauges, you want to make sure the the unit is off. Then you hook up the blue line to the big line to the suction line. And if you look inside the vent, the hoses. You probably can't see, but there's a little dep metal depressor that depresses a valve stem inside there. Uh, these hoses have what's called a low loss fitting. Uh, it is called low loss. That minimizes the amount of refrigerant that uh, is released. But uh, keep in mind that anytime you put gauges on or take hoses off of one of them connections, you do lose a tiny bit of refrigerant. This just minimizes it. And to put them on, they just screw on, screw tight, and you can open the valves. After you've got your gauges attached to the thing, then you can turn the unit on. And you should hear it start, and you should see the gauges start to change. The blue, which is, like I said, is a suction to the compressor, should start going down. 